Does it really matter what form of magnesium you take? Yes, it does. In fact, there are critical differences in the forms of magnesium. Most magnesium supplements are great laxatives, and you don't absorb the magnesium, or at least absorb only a minimal quantity. I learned my lessons with magnesium many years ago, and I had a handful of patients in my practice who had what's called magnesium-losing nephropathies. And all that means is these people, for a variety of different reasons, like some forms of chemotherapy for cancer, for instance, they lose the kidney's capacity to, re to uh, reabsorb magnesium from the urine. They lose all their magnesium in their urine. And this is fatal within a week. So these poor people, for years, had to go to the emergency room or to acute care and get an intravenous put in and get a magnesium infusion. And if they missed uh, a, a session, they could die, sudden cardiac death, because magnesium is a very powerful regulator of heart rhythms. So you can imagine, this was misery for these poor people, right? One, it's scary as heck. It hurts, you get an IV every time. It's very expensive getting an IV in an ER. Uh, and if they missed a, a session, it was extremely dangerous within a short period of time. Well, I tried to wean these people off the need for intravenous magnesium by giving them a variety of different supplements, magnesium supplements, like magnesium citrate, magnesium malate, etc. What I found was no supplement did the trick. Their, their magnesium levels would drop to very dangerous levels just before they had to go back and get a, another intravenous infusion. So there was no success whatsoever. It didn't even come close. But I conceived of this new idea of making magnesium water. And you'll find those recipes in my undoctored book, in the Wheat Belly Total Health book, Wheat Belly 10 Grain Detox book, in the Wheat Belly blog, undoctored blog. So I, I put it out everywhere so everybody can see it. But we make what's, what I call magnesium water. All it is is we react the carbonic acid of seltzer water or other carbonated water, just make sure there's no sugar or high fructose corn syrup or all the garbage in it, with milk of magnesia. The milk of magnesia must be unflavored and look out for sodium hypochlorite. More recently, manufacturers have been adding, adding sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach. So look at the inactive ingredient list. Make sure it has none of that. We, we put three tablespoons of the unflavored milk of magnesia, and it must be unflavored, into the seltzer, tap it, shake it. You may have to pour a little seltzer off to make some room, but shake it. It's going to be cloudy. Let it clarify a few minutes, and then you drink it. What you've done is you've reacted the carbonic acid of the carbonated water with magnesium oxide of the milk of magnesia, and what you get is water and magnesium bicarbonate. Magnesium bicarbonate is the most absor highly absorbed form of magnesium, and this is what got these people off their intravenous infusions. So I managed to get these people completely off their intravenous infusions by having them drink magnesium water every day. Now, to, to, for the written instructions, very simple. And for the dosing, see my Wheat Belly blog, Undoctored blog, all my books, you'll find it in there. But very simply, eight ounces a day, I'm sorry, eight ounces a serving uh, provides 180 milligrams of elemental magnesium. So start low because even this form of magnesium does cause loose stools. So maybe start with four ounces or half a cup twice a day or three times a day. And if you have any specific problems that need to be addressed quickly, like a heart rhythm disorder, osteoporosis or osteopenia, or uh, painful leg cramps, build up your dose. You know, see how much you can tolerate. And the full dose would be eight ounces at least twice a day, if not three times a day. At some point, you want to have a magnesium level draw on a blood level, preferably an RBC magnesium, which is a little better than the serum magnesium level that's commonly used. But the magnesium water that yields magnesium bicarbonate is the best magnesium you can get that you can't buy, but you make it yourself. It's very inexpensive, and it's by far the best way to replace your body's magnesium.